What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a line chart in JavaFX. All right, let's get started. Now I'm going to open my IDE. And so here I need to open this FXML file in SceneBuilder. Right click and open in SceneBuilder if you were using the IntelliJ IDEA IDE. And uh, I need to get rid of this existing layout. And I'm going to replace that using border pane layout and collapse the properties and expand the layout. And I need to set the preferred width to 700 and the height would be 500. All right. And now I need to drag a line chart and drag it here at the center and here as you can see that we have category axis and number axis so i don't need to use the category axis here instead i'll be replacing that and in, into number axis by uh, the fxml file to, into our ide so here at the line chart i need to set the fx id to line chart all right and let's the hierarchy and expand the controller and set the controller class here and save the fxml file and let's go back to our ide okay now i need to get rid of this explicit size and uh, change the stage title to JavaFX. This one is line chart. Okay. And here I need to open the FXML file and remove this one. Copy the number axis and paste it here. And it should be bottom. Okay. Now let's go back to our scene builder to check if it's replaced. Okay, it's replaced by number axis. All right, now let's proceed to our code and go to our controller class. And I need to remove the codes here and replace by initializing the initializing the controller by implementing uh, implementing the initializable enter page uh, initializable allowed and and then to implement methods the initialize method and click on OK now what we need to do next is to inject the line chart and I need to call the fxml file I mean the fxml injection and private line chart and this should be number number and line chart okay now i need to make another one for the number axis this one is this one should be number axis and the other one should be the y axis all right so what to do next is to go here at the initializable initialize interface i mean the initialize method and configure the axis and the line chart so i'm going to call first the x axis and set the label to uh, year okay x axis let's set o2 ranging false x axis that set lower bound to 2020 x axis that set upper bound to 2026 and x axis that set 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 tick unit 
to one. And let's proceed to the y axis. Y axis that set label. And this should be labeled as sales in dollars. Next should be X, I mean Y axis that set auto ranging to true. Oh, what's happening? All right. Now I'm going to call the line chart. that set data, I mean set title, because we need to use the set data later. And set title, this should be product sales. Okay. Now to create the set, to create the data in, for our line chart, we need to go here and create a new class. So I'm gonna create a new class called uh, sales data. All right, so since our line chart needs an observable list, so I'm gonna create a observable list here. So I'm gonna need public static, and I will, I will use a static keyword or modifier because uh, I don't need to create an instance of this class. Okay, so I'm gonna create a public static observable list and it should be x, y chart and import class, that's series and it should be number. And the method name, so get sales. I'm gonna name this at get sales data. All right, now I'm gonna create or call the x, y chart that series number and I'm gonna name this as the product one. Product one equals to new x, y chart and series, all right? Now I'm gonna use the product one product one that set or get data data that add all this is where we store our data so equals new x y chart that data So here we have the lower bound 2020 and the upper bound 2020, 2026. So I'm gonna, so the first one, the first data here should be 2020. And the sales would be something like 500. And I'm gonna, cop I'm gonna copy these, this line of code. Oops. Paste it below until 2026. So two, three, four, five, six. And it should be 2021, 22, three, three, four, five, All right, now the second sale would be 4,000. This should be 3,000, 200, and this one is 1,900, and 2000 all right now let's proceed to the to the second product i'm going to copy the codes and paste it below and it should be product two all 
Okay. The same as usual. I'm gonna change it here to let's say six hundred two four let's say nine four two five hundred. Okay. I forgot the product the product name. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set product one that set name and it should be product one and the other product as well two and it should be two okay now let's proceed to the third product and product three Right, and let's modify the data sales one thousand two three and one hundred. All right, so that's enough for the product, and I'm gonna use the I'm gonna call the observable list probable list and xy chart a series number and I'm gonna call this data equals to so FX collection observable array list and data that add all product one product two and product three. And we, we should return the data. All right, now let's go back to the controller class and set the data here. So I'm gonna call line chart that set data and call the sales, sales data that get sales. All right, now let's run the application to see what it looked like. All right, now it shows an error. Set life because the x axis is null. Okay, now let me go back to the scene builder and assign an FX ID here. It should be X axis. That's X and this is Y. Okay, and save the scene builder. And let's run the program once again. All right, that's it. This is our line chart in JavaFX. This is the This is the sales here in this on the right side and the left side. And this is the year. All right, so that's it. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.